What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. Today's video is going to be a Q&A, but to save it from being a little bit more boring, I'm just going to turn it into kind of like a vlog style video. I'm just going to be going about my day just like I normally would, just like any other day, and then I'm going to be answering my questions as I go along. So you guys took to Instagram and answered on the post that you guys can see here. You guys took, there's loads of questions, there's around about 20, but I think a few of them are kind of repeat, so I'll just go through what I can throughout the day. So guys, it is currently lunchtime. It's around about half past one here at the time of filming this. Uh, I'm gonna have for lunch one of my staple lunches, what I've had for the entire time I've been cooking. I put it on the channel many, 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 many times. And that is a bag of rice, a tin of tuna, and a tin of beans. It's as simple as that, guys. And the macros really aren't that bad. It is a few more calories because it is gonna be my biggest meal of the day, but that is because it is a pre-workout meal. I want enough energy, enough glycogen in the muscles and to be mentally prepared for the workout. So I'm gonna get making this, and I'll answer question one. Okay guys, so just while that is cooking, question one is from Jacob Walters. The question is, have you ever thought about taking steroids? Now I would say, I've always said, anyone who says they haven't considered it is a liar. Anyone who's into the gym and anything like that wants to get as big as possible. So anyone who says they haven't considered it or it hasn't even crossed their mind is a liar. But from, in terms of a health perspective and a a moral perspective as well, I would just never do it purely because that's ju it's just a no-go for me. The, the risks are too high and it's just not worth it. And that's that really. So the answer to that would be no. Simple as that guys, already in two minutes because of the bag rice. If you don't have bag rice, don't worry. You can still have the meal in 10 minutes, purely because you can just make the rice by yourself. Right, now before I get started on question two, just look at all this crap that's from uni, right? I'm currently packing for Ibiza, so my shit is everywhere, and then that stuff's for uni as well. So the place is just a complete and utter dumpster. But if you guys can just get past the mess, then we'll get on with question two. It is again from my boy Jay. He's asked if there's any new projects in the works, and when do you think I will hit one? 1,000 subscribers. In terms of are there any new projects, well yes there is the website that we're working on that will be released I'm hoping within the next month and also there's some new sample t-shirts that I got. See it's like a charcoal but it has a smaller emblem on there instead of a massive one. Just making it a little bit smaller, making it a little bit more sleek, a little bit more stylish, a bit more kind of casual rather than just gym shirts. So that's what I'm kind of aiming to do with that t-shirt. So be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on that t-shirt and also maybe the joggers. Keep an eye out on my Instagram link below for some more information on that guys. Stay tuned, that's kind of in the works at the same time as well. So, the next question was 1,000 subscribers. When do I think I'll hit 1,000? I mean, how, how long's a piece of string? I mean, you could, as a YouTuber, you could be grinding and grinding and grinding and get absolutely nowhere for a year or two years or five years and then just one video you can get and you'll have millions. But in terms of when I think personally, I will hit it if things keep going at the rate that they are going, I think, by this time next year I will have a thousand subscribers. That is if I consistently hit two videos a week just doing what I'm doing and YouTube doesn't change too fucking much and take too many subscribers away. Ah! Drop. I hope it's Ronaldo. Right Cam. Yeah. Today I'm doing a QA. Oh, yeah. to put up while I'm in Ibiza. I've already started the video so these guys know what I'm doing. But this post throughout the session, what session are we doing? Chest. Uh, you've got to read out some questions. Right. And yeah, it's that simple. Operate a camera and read. That's Let's go. I fired. Can you smell it? Right, where do you see yourself in 10 years and when the fuck are you going to get this gym, home gym collab on? In 10 years, honestly, fuck knows. Purely because there's going to be jobs that aren't even invented now that exist in 10 years time. Obviously I'm doing my teaching degree, so I mean, going in that direction. But I've also got this YouTube thing, like who knows what could happen. As long as I'm happy in 10 years time, I couldn't really care less. And in terms of the home gym collab, Whenever you're ready, mate. Ready when you are. Oh, 
Who's your biggest idol in the fitness industry? In the whole industry, at the minute, I would say Rob Lipset, purely because his positivity, his, his drive, his motivation, just, just everything he stands for is sort of something I've always admired. So, at the minute, I would have to say Rob Lipset, but in terms of everything I know about training, the foundations of everything I know, and well, this home gym, in fact, I have to pay credit to Elliot Hulse, purely because he changed my mindset, just like now I, I kind of want to change other people's mindsets the same way that he did for me. So I have to pay credit to Elliot to a certain extent. Um, but at the minute, I would have to say Rob Lipset, he's killing it. Then, if you like champagne from my way, then where am I going? I need my PCAs. <laughs> Can't you see your ass in the corner? <laughs> Take me out. Next question for Elliot. Elliot, what are you doing to get more views? Well, I'm not going to lie, I don't even know what I'm doing with it. I've used it for the last, well, pretty much the entire time I've been blog uh, vlogging. I bought it sort of May time last year, and obviously now that's sort of just over a year ago. I uh, couldn't recommend it anymore. I've got a couple of questions about it. Um, yes, all my, pretty much all my Instagram pictures are taken with this camera. Pretty much all my video, unless I have like my phone and the camera's died, pretty much everything is with this camera on every single form of social media, guys. What's your favourite body part to train? Shoulders. Without a doubt, shoulders. It's just a genetic strong point of mine. Something I enjoy. I love the feeling of a shoulder pump. Just... But in fact, if I could choose a day, it would be push day. Uh, probably followed by leg day, then pull. But in terms of a specific muscle group, it would have to be shoulders. I don't know how you guys are going to cope, but in the last video, we had to say bye to the flat. Now we have to say bye to camera, cameraman. Yeah, uh, it's been, been fun. Any you? words for the peeps? He's too tall. <laughs> yeah, and too any short, any words? Yeah, it's been fun. It's been alright. Good luck. That must have mean it was really good. Jesus. Yeah. Pleasure, mate. Oh, thank always. you. Thank you for everything. Alright guys, so it's currently September 1st, the next day, the following day from when Cam the Cameraman just left, the last clip that you saw. This morning we actually went over to the brand new flat in Nottingham, so I'll put a couple of clips up on the screen right now from my Instagram story. So stay tuned for the videos after I be for the moving in vlog, the proper full on moving in vlog in a couple of videos time. So as you can see the suitcase is pretty much packed, we've got lots of LSJ stuff and a couple of exclusives, Oh, you can't have that. So I'm pretty much packed, got to finish off this video, upload it, schedule it and then head off. Alright guys, so the next question is going to be, what do you think of the recent loss in the industry with Rich and Dallas? Now. I'll jump straight into that by saying it's a very controversial topic um, for obvious reasons and also I don't really know an awful lot about Dallas but I have followed Rich for a number of years, I've seen him at Body Power at different expos and all that kind of stuff, seen lots of his videos and one thing I will say is that whether you like him or not, love him or hate him, Rich as, and Dallas for that matter from what I've heard will leave a massive hole in the industry and regardless again regardless whether you like them whether you love them or hate them they've both almost left a hole which will almost probably never be filled again i don't necessarily think there will ever be anyone just like rich again i don't necessarily think there will ever be anyone just like dallas again purely because especially from rich's point of view he was so open and honest about his use of steroids and everything like that and everything that he was putting in his body everything he was eating everything he was doing for training 
I don't think there will ever be anyone that open and honest again, but uh, but who knows, only, only time will tell on that one. So the next question is from my boy Jamie, and that is, what are your long-term goals? Now, kind of reverting back to what I said earlier on in the video, I'm not too sure, but as long as I'm happy, I'm not too fussed. But one thing I will say is that I, I would love to compete one day. I don't know when, it will probably be in a few, a few years time when I've got a little bit more size and a little bit more knowledge about my own body and everything like that. Um, but in terms of long-term goals, I would say something that I would like to do is definitely compete. I'm just gonna do a couple of quick questions, just quick fire off, just to finish off the video. So the next question is gonna be best tips for bulking. Now, as you guys know, if you follow the channel for a while, I, I bulked the entire first year of my uni. Um, of my university career and got pretty fucking fat, right? So one thing I would say is for best tips, best tips for bulking is yes, eat the right amount of food, but don't go ape shit. Just eat sort of five, six hundred calories above maintenance and train consistently. Just keep a consistent diet. Just make sure you're doing everything right. Don't go too overboard, but still, obviously, just make sure you're in a caloric surplus, but not to the point of me getting up to 200 pounds. And one final question just to round off today's video guys, if I could only do one more exercise in my entire life and it had to be one thing that would definitely without question, without hesitation, without any form of question whatsoever, it would be the shoulder press. Purely because, as I said again earlier, it's a genetic strong point of mine, like I can push a lot of weight for a lot of reps, like I just feel like a boss whilst I'm doing the shoulder press guys, it is my, definitely my favourite movement and that would be the one that I would pick. So that is going to round off today's video and round off today's Q&A, so thank you guys if you did put a question down below in the comment section. Please do not be offended if I didn't answer it, it's purely because of a time kind of basis. Uh, if you have any questions that I haven't answered, then feel free to put them in the comment section down below or send me a DM or anything like that. I'm going to be in IB for filming the next vlogs and everything like that at the time of this video coming out. And obviously this is scheduled for about a week in advance of when this is actually being filmed, purely so you guys don't have to miss out on any content. Thank you so much for watching guys and thank you so much again for getting involved in the Q&A. I was really surprised at the amount of questions, so uh, I'm really glad that you guys got involved properly. Together we will grow. So, that's going to round off today's video. I think that's like the 17th time I've said that. Thank you so much for watching guys, as always remember, no regrets, I'll see you guys in Ibiza.